Um, the camera is a little crooked. Okay, check in. Talk in. One, two, three. Check. One, two. Check, one, two. check, check, check. Greetings. Second update from Anastasis Films, this time back in St. Louis uh, at Sump today in South City, which we'd highly recommend if you're down this way. Uh, today's been an interesting day. It's been an interesting week, I guess especially for me. Um, You've been crying like a little baby. Not really, but close. <laughs> uh, it's been um, probably one of those weeks where you start to, the stamina of things starts to slow down and um, you start to panic a little bit. We've had some good meetings this week, mm -hmm. um, which has been good. And I think what I was telling John this morning is that I feel like we have all these meetings and networking and they're all good towards relationship building, which is what I need to keep my eye on because you expect something to just sort of turn into a job and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that way because you're building relationships and you're working towards um, building capital in an area. Uh, but I think that's something I, I, I'm learning right now. You say it's a fair assessment? Or am I being too nice to myself? <laughs> I was panicked this morning. I was like, I was just like, John, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but I haven't gotten much sleep this week either. Because I just have been my mind is just going as it as I'm laying in bed and I can't shut it down. He's crying like a little baby. <laughs> I mean, I would say that um, you know we've had a, for many people, I think it would be a, a large degree of success, especially for the first two or three months, and and uh, to actually have paying gigs um, to actually pay real money, um, uh, you know, has been something that's you know I would say that that's a, a very important thing, and and yet. I think what um, Matt is struggling struggling to see is that that, that there are actually huge positives already, and um, and also be willing to um, set his expectations correctly. I think anybody who's starting something, you know, has to be able to set their expectations and control their emotions, um, and um, and so that's just a, the reality of entrepreneurship is that you have to control your emotions and you have to be able to um, set your expectations in into reality and I, and I think that's a large problem for people and then the last thing I would say that um, the unknown is so scary for, for everybody I think and, and I think that that's to be able to say that I don't know but to have hope is a very it's a very difficult thing um, and, uh, and I think that that's what I think um, what I am continuing to, to learn and I think Matt is just learning now yeah and I think I was, I'm actually probably a little bit spoiled because things have gone really well from the get-go. We've had a lot of interactions with people. We've had a lot of interest. We've put out a ton of proposals already, mm -hmm. which John has already told me. You know, we've put out a lot for this early in the game. And I think I've gotten a little bit, of spoil, a little bit spoiled feeling like um, we've gotten all this stuff going and just kind of waiting for something to just all of a sudden happen and for there to be these big jobs. But the truth is we do have paid work, which... I mean, it's, the fact of the matter is, it is a good place to be early on, early on in the game. And the second thing that um, he gets tired of me saying is that as an artist, my emotional side is, takes, it takes over sometimes a little more than it ought to. And, and these are good ways to, uh, to <laughs> learn how to, uh, I know he's making faces over here, to, uh, to control them. And to say, okay, you, emotions are good as an artist, and, and many of you will relate to this as an artist. But you gotta, you gotta rein them in. You have to have control over them rather than them controlling you, because then they become the master. Right. And that your tool set of emotions gets out of control, and then it's not healthy anymore. It's not helping you anymore. And that's what emotions are supposed to do for anyone, regardless of whether you're an artist, filmmaker, or whatever. It's supposed or to help you. <laughs> and you just have to cry in your pillow at night. <laughs> So right. that's us. One week after we get back, uh, it's the emotional roller coaster, but it's learning, and we're having we're having a fun time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Strangely enough, it's still fun. Bye.